Yeah. All right, this is Shahai Hope from Jazz Productions, and I'm here with your boy Lee from Double K TV. Right. Yeah, thank you for the intro, no? Yes. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Intro. <laughs> Jazz Productions. So, what we're going to do here today is that we're going to listen to four of the songs that I did recently, well, not really recently, like within the last couple of months. Yeah, and uh, we're going to listen to them. I'm going to give a little backstory of how the song was even made or why I even decided to make it. And uh, Lee, you know, will give him give me some you know feedback on what he thinks about it and you know stuff like that. Okay, before we continue, I am not a music connoisseur, I am an anime connoisseur, but I know music that I like, okay, and I like Jahaya tracks, so, yeah. Yeah, so the first one we are going to listen to is called Liquid Blades, alright, now, when I was doing this, I was really just messing around with some loops and... Uh, I heard something and I really liked it and I just went with the ideas and the feeling I was getting until I ended up with a song that was about four minutes long. So we're going to listen to it now and uh, when it's finished, Lee will tell me what he thinks and he will tell you all what he thinks. And you all can even put it in the comments what you all think. Alright, cool. Yeah. Could he mic here? <laughs>
was liquid bleeds. What are your thoughts? Okay, like I said, I am not a music connoisseur. Okay? And I don't want to compare to any of the other songs yet because we just do these four here, right? Mm -hmm. But let me just knife back a little bit. The songs I used to do before, right? They were good too, but it was like linear with not much change in between. Mm -hmm. But this here it had it had drops, it had like little moments for a certain part. It's like you rip up on a transformers and you pick up two players and start a beat on he bones, but he bones is metal. <laughs> so yeah, you, you're killing a transformer and you're using the body parts to make the track. And it's some real good dog. Quality. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, see what inspired you. Um as I said before, I was actually just playing around with some loops and yeah, because I'm consistently always downloading new samples, new loop samples and the set that I found, I was like, hey, this has something, you know, I was listening, I was like, hey, I like this one particular thing, and I just put it on the track, and I'm like, looping it over and over, and just listening to other stuff to see what was fit, fitting on top of it, and by the time I was finished, I had a whole four minute long track, and it had some, you know, sub drops, you know, that shit you all used to hear in Transformers, and up to my spine, when I'm trying to hear, do, do, why, you know, or down in the big toe shake, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 that thing now. So, it was cool, it was cool. I but had fun doing this. Before you continue, right? Mm -hmm. You said that you was downloading these drops. So you downloaded them for free, pirating off of the internet, which is illegal. I was downloading them for free from sites that offer them for free. Alright, okay, cool, cool, cool. Just asking, just asking. No pirate, nothing. Making sure you're on the top of your toes now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... The next track we are going to listen to is called Otsutsuki. You know, after Kaguya Otsutsuki. Naruto fans, all you know who are talking about. Those who don't know who are talking about, go and watch Naruto. The worst villain of Naruto of all time. Exactly. But already, track is fire though. Yeah. Alright, now for this track, I was playing around with sampling. And had this album from the 1960s that came out from Japan with a guy named Kimio Eto. Uh, you could go listen to him, some really cool stuff. He plays a koto. It's like that string Japanese instrument, you know, plenty of strings and I see the hand, you know, don't kind of shit. Yeah. And I was listening and I was like, hey, I was listening to it, I was like, no, let me actually try and sample something from this. And I did. And because, you know, for those who don't know, I'm also a music major, I'm actually supposed to graduate next year with my bachelor's in music education you know educate this young child about the good stuff like dubstep and you know i was like all right I'm listening to the music i'm like okay i'm figuring out you know the bass line where he's gonna say decided to you know, build on top of it and i ended up with something that i think one of the commenters on the original video said it sounded like something from the wu-tang clan and that was like a really happy moment for me because it's like to say that it sounded like something from a rap group that I used to listen to from when they used to make music back in the 90s. They're still making music now, they come back out the same. When? They come now? back out, they the Method Man and all them, all them come back, the Wu-Tang come back. Well, this is news to me. <laughs> Vibes. Well, I'll be looking out for that. Yeah, so let me track us with Sutsuki. Has some koto music and sampled into it, so it has a nice little Japanese vibe, you know, but mixed with a little hip hop, a little bit of trap, you know. So yeah. Just saying, this video is going to be two hours long. <laughs> nah, I don't. <laughs> two hours. <laughs> Run the track, Potsutsuki.
that song was fire. Fire. Uh, okay. Woo. First, first and foremost, right? it, it started off like it was just gonna be something real, you know, classical. It's just kind of smooth all that. It was like boom. Where's I don't know. Where's called like rap trap yeah, or, yeah, or trap? Yeah, yeah trappy, right? Yeah, it's like I think it's like the subgenre I came across called um, Asian trap music. So they try to use like some of their like traditional instruments and traditional chords and. Right. Skills and shit, and still make you know some hip hop all to it, and it's cool. Right, right. And like the last song, this one was not linear. It had different moments. It, it wasn't just one thing going across. Like I don't know how to explain it. It was flames. Okay, old suit ski. I don't know why he named it after the shit is villain in Naruto, but the song bad. I, I don't even know. I really don't know. I was looking for a name and that name popped up and I was like, hey. Now it fit though. Yeah. It fit. Yeah, yeah. But it was fun doing that though. Like, I never really bothered to try sampling until actually listening to a producer at a seminar last year called 88 Keys. Big out to 88 Keys, hit me up, you know. Help my mother too. Uh, so, uh, so. Yeah, my help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but that's again actually produce um, no church in my Okay. So how he can help you? Also? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I didn't really bother to think about sampling until he talked about it, and I said, like, "Hey, this could actually be helpful." And so I was off, and I was sitting like, "Not this week. I'm going to do some sampling." So that's what happened with this song. Alright, so we're going to move on to another song that, this one is an old one, but it's an old favorite of a lot of people. This is my favorite song. Alright, the name of the song is The Power Is Within, you know, Power Is Within, Side View, you know, all that emperor inspirational shit. Alright, now, I don't even know what was the inspiration for this song. It was just a vibe. And I made it and I enjoyed it. And other people enjoyed it. I actually even was expecting as much people to enjoy it when they did. So you're gonna hear the powers within our devotion. You're gonna hear a little clean up from the original. Because the original was kind of mixed badly, so it's a little noisy to the ears and shit. So, you know. So, yeah, so we're gonna listen to The Power Is Within. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
that was the power is within Lee. Alright, so let me explain to you, right? He 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 gives some inf information on how he can't believe song, right? But I could tell you from a listening standpoint what me and the other people were pitching when we were hearing this, right? Anime. You know, anime had them dread fight music and thing. That is this here. Like when the man, like you know, he now gained the courage and he now stand a bill up and thing. That is what this song, that is what I just imagine when I listen to this song. Men power, you know, and they're ready to go and fight. This song, bam! And uh, what he said is actually what I was picturing while making this song. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually had a little image in my head and I was like, okay, what 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 am I doing? What am I doing? And now the nice thing for me, the reason why I really, really enjoy doing this song because most the first two songs were made from samples and loops that I edited and you know stuff that was mainly on the computer. This song I played the guitar and the bass lines for it. So yeah, I was in the music, making the music, and Self. it was awesome, Self. especially doing the bass. Self-made. Question, mm. who you find sexier, Vegeta or Goku? Goku. Okay, okay, I thought I would have... I mean, I mean, Vegeta is my boy, you know, but he needs to let go a little bit of the pride, but I mean, it is coming handy for him, it is coming handy for him, especially when I'm... My wife gave a bitch slap. My boy went mad. I started to beat up. You hear the question I asked? Yeah, I know. I just talked about Vegeta. But at the end of the day, Goku. I didn't want to say nothing else. Goku. Goku yeah. is what? That's the boss. That, what was the question I asked? The sexier. Okay. <laughs> but I, I deviate from that question. Right, right. <laughs> Next song. We are the last song. Alright, so. The last song was the first song I ever uploaded to the channel. The name of the song is Arm of God. It was me just actually playing with everything that I had at oh, that point. That was song in clean at all. Playing with everything I had at, at that point. <laughs> wait, wait. Musically. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, it's still a song in clean away. Well, 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 well. Alright. Anyway, so on this track, I had one of my friends, Jonathan Sami, came in, helped me with the guitar. He was playing the lead guitar, I was playing the rhythm. Um, we were using some programs for the choirs and stuff like that. And this is kind of like an anime song, too. And you'll hear it when it starts to play. Alright? So, you can listen to Armor of God Lee. You have anything, anything to add? It should be renamed the Armor of Lee. Don't laugh behind the camera. Chances <laughs> <laughs> Productions.
Yes, I'm wrong for all that. Which was also the last song that we'll be yeah. listening to. It is. Okay, it's my toast, right? Mm -hmm. If anybody ever played God of War, right? If anybody ever played God of War, you would get that feeling from the time the song starts, right? That would dun dun dun. Oh, dun, dun, dun. You feel like you're playing God of War, but if you have a PS3, then, or a PS4, then hard luck, you know? But that's, that's the feeling I got, right? Then after the song, I have like three different switches, right? But then all of them tie back in to either the first part or the second part. This, this, the second guitar, right? You had to tell me about that. Because mm -hmm. it's song, it didn't sound like the last guitar, right? This one sung like it was slight out of tune. It was. Okay, see, it see, you know was. something. You know something. Yeah, and that is something we realized afterwards and realized, you know what? We were leaving it because it actually added to the song. Because it kind of added a little bit of distortion okay. kind of thing. So it was, it was cool. It was, it was like, okay. We know it's off, but somehow it's still making sense. Yeah. This is a strange thing about music. Sometimes play a wrong thing and it's end up something right. My, my only thing that I wasn't too fond of was the the horn thing. Oh, it was so loud. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and fat out what play a horn or something. <laughs> if you could have... Yeah. You gotta turn on little things, a little thing, and I'll be like, all right, I like that, but it was a little too horny for me. You get horny. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Wow. Right. No, yeah, the thing with that horn, I was actually layered to us. Right. So, yeah, it it took some adjusting, and it yeah, just when I know the delay, it was a lot louder. Like, we loved it. Um, I think one of the aspects of the song I actually enjoyed was using the Japanese percussion, and I use that a lot in my songs because the Japan fun. rules. Oh. That too. Yeah, Japan bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right. What was I saying? You no. Know? Yeah, and using them alongside, you know, the Western instruments. You know, like normal guitar and you know, the quiet thing and all them trumpets and horn and violins. And it actually makes a very nice what word am I using? Look at for sauce, oh, okay, sauce, whatever. But you know, when you can sauce this, how to put stuff in the pan and right thing and make it taste nice and thing and then put it on your food and food just tastes better. Take sauce, you can have something else. <laughs> So that was Arm of God, and yeah, so this brings us to the end, you know. So feel free to, you know, drop a little comments, you know, so what you all think, you know, let me know if you all enjoyed watching this video or listening to this on, where am I uploading this? Well, I'm uploading the audio alone to Anchor FM, you know, so you can check me out there at Anchor FM dot com slash jazz productions um i'm also going to upload some of the audio to soundcloud the soundcloud that i hardly ever use yeah <laughs> okay so how about facebook the links will be posted on facebook boy you don't understand how, how the net this worker all right i will post the audio. snippets i will post snippets on facebook i'll post snippets video on and audio video and audio mm. yeah See, my thing with Facebook, Facebook is really annoying me these days now. I don't like Facebook either, but that is part the views and the true. people just use Facebook to boost the other yeah, platforms true, now. True, so, true, true, true. Yeah, skinny water on Facebook point, a little bit. Point, point, point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only realized what you said there just now afterwards. Eh? Yeah, I must realize <laughs> after. <laughs> yeah, but um, so yeah. Well, let me know what you all think and I will appreciate the feedback. Like here, no feedback, again feedback here, no? Don't, 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 don't do that to the mic, <laughs> do not do that to the mic. Feedback! Anyways, this has been Jai Ho from Jazz Productions with your boy Lee from the Bouquet TV. And we are, what are you going to say, signing out?